Namaste, love and light. Star seek. Hope all is well with you guys. Um, I send y'all love and light, abundance and prosperity. All right, so. <clears throat> oh my gosh, my astronaut arm fell. Hold on, I'm gonna put you on hold. What? My, I didn't even know he broke. <laughs> Did someone try to cut your hand or something? Cut your arm off? Okay, I'm seeing like some type of astral like fight where someone is trying to like cut your arm off. All right, so you won't be able to like I guess utilize your abilities or like protect yourself better or something like that. All right, or this could be like metaphorically speaking, like someone wants to cut you off, cut off your arm. Is there a saying? All right, where like cut off an arm and a leg? Maybe somebody wants you to like give them something they expect you to give them so much but this is my poor astronaut man i can't even have him up here if he's broken <laughs> but anyways i love y'all so much i'm happy to be home so you guys i picked up some powerful 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 energy that i'm still contemplating on if i should like release it or not because i do feel like it'll be good for the public but i also am self-conscious about it Okay, because it's just some deep, heavy stuff that I just start tapping into, but it's just like coming into in my energetic field so quickly. It's like I have to keep up. It's like I'm definitely seeing dragons, and we spoke about dragons and like their ancient, how ancient they are. But you know, if you guys do know, like these dragons come from these primordial, you know, waters and everything like that. I'm getting primordial forces. That's like who they are. And I'm just receiving like a heavy as that one. Like it was on my crown, like you guys. I had I couldn't even like read because the moment I tapped into my crown, I thought of Tima. Tima, Tima, Tima. And I'm like, okay, spirit. I'm like just now diving into these deep waves, you know, finding myself again. And it's like certain things I just didn't want to share. Okay, because like I said, I was self-conscious about it. You know, and I it's funny because I saw the void before when I was in middle school and that's like, you know, a little side story or whatever like that I'll talk about one day. But as I was like flashing back in time around the spring equinox, I was like, wow, I saw the void a long time ago. And back then I didn't know what I was seeing. You know, I'm just, you know, a child daydreaming or whatever like that. And like I said, it's a story time behind that. It wasn't really daydreaming. It was like, you know, a small conversation that me and my friends was having. And we was just, like, in middle school, just just talking out of just, just the same stuff. What if? And that's when I had that flashback of me in the void, me seeing just, like, complete darkness, okay? And it's really cool, okay? Like, you know, and, and I'm learning about all these things, okay? You definitely got to have your chakras, like, aligned and activated. And that's what we've been talking about these past few weeks is you guys being in alignment with your highest self because a part of that highest self is that primordial being that's within you, that that is who you are, okay? You come from that. And I'm still learning, so, you know, I don't want to dive too deep in and start channeling and then... I'm, I'm, me and my, I'm, you know, I'm me, you know, my ego gonna get involved and get a little confused because it's like, I never, it's not that I never saw it before, I'm remembering and it's coming in so heavy and like I said, it's just, you know, it's healing that needs to be done for me to fully like integrate, okay, and incorporate myself with this energy, I don't know why I got incorporated, I guess allow it to like, I guess, fully flow within me, it's powerful guys, it's very much powerful, it's power, period, but you know, once you dive deep, you gotta, you gotta, you know, cross paths with certain beings, you know, you gotta go down certain realms and stuff like that, and, you know, I saw this Inferno, and I heard of Inferno spirits before, like, that would be, like, Petro spirits, hot spirits, but Inferno is even, like, I guess even more deeper than Petro, okay, but you, if you want, to look at it like that just to help you understand okay it's like another form of like hot spirits here all right those spirits that come with that chaos energy but they're very protective they're here to protect you you know what i'm saying because you know i look at it as like a family thing you know 
all of us in the cosmos, we are all connected. And I feel like we are connected as one, as family. It just, you know, certain karmas and stuff like that mess up the little connection that we have. But that's the whole 3D thing. But as far as looking, like, outside, I do feel that. And that's why they're so protective, okay, when we come from these infernal spirits, okay, these infernal souls. They come in to protect us. I really want y'all to understand. There's nothing to be afraid of, okay? You know... This hot fire is here to protect you. Look at it as like a dragon blowing its fire to uh, against your enemies to protect you. And you guys have soul contracts with these infernal spirits. Okay? And, and... <sighs> you see, when it gets like heavy, I get like a little self-conscious and, and be nervous to say certain things. But even when we talked about Hades, daughter of Hades, son of Hades, Hades in a, is an inferno. You get what I'm saying? So that is one of the energies that come through and protect you. And and I'm sure there's many more. All right, dragons and such. We're going to, you know, figure all that out. But I do have a new deck here as well called Broken Mirrors by Twin Flame Exposed. I got it from Etsy. It's not cheap, but it's very much worth it. <laughs> Y'all know them Etsy decks are not cheap, okay? You know if you're going on Etsy to get a deck, you're going to spend some some change, all right? But we're going to tap into this, all right? Because I feel like y'all been dealing with a lot of childish, childish, immature energy that you're still healing from. Because this person was very argumentative, and they played the victim a lot. And it's, it's like they want to hold on to their teddy bear like... You know, to, I, I don't know. I'm seeing them wanting to hold on to their teddy bear. Like, please help me. Like, that's how they want to come to you. Come to their victims, I'm getting. <laughs> they play the victim, then victimize people. And you could be like, we look at ourselves as survivors. But, you know, in a sense, they try to, like, make you one of their victims. And now they want to come to you and hold you. Like, please forgive me. I feel like this person's heart is, like, broken here. Somebody, I know it's broken. You see, my baby just realized it's broken. It's broken. I know, sweetie, baby. Okay, I feel like I'm getting like your your golden crown is activated here. I'm just getting like a golden aura, a golden view around your crown. This is like your royalties as well. Or this is like that golden ray of light. What? All right, who is this snooping on social media? Someone is getting psychic slash tarot readings done or even doing drive-bys, y'all. Let's just get into this. I feel like you guys are about to make it rain. You guys are manifesting a whole bunch of abundance. You're saying F the haters. I'm manifesting abundance. Some type of legal matters is going to work in your favor. Unexpected money slash um, promotion. I feel like you guys are an entrepreneur and you're about to receive like a win, a windmill or windfold of money. A whole bunch of money. I don't know why I'm getting like in mail. I don't know why I'm getting that. Are right, you about to receive a whole bunch of money, okay? Like a whole bunch of money just about to fall on top of you, okay? And I feel like this is the money that you manifested. I'm getting people is going to is going to call you crazy for you like manifesting your wildest dreams, taking a leap of faith here. This could have been an ex trying to call you crazy because you're taking a leap of faith towards your dreams. They try to call you unfaithful. I feel like for a lot of you guys they're trying to say you are faithful because you put your dreams first. For some of you guys, your dreams could be the person that you're manifesting. I feel like this person got you caught up in a love triangle with a third party, and they don't want to admit to that. They don't want to take accountability for that. All right, I I don't know. I feel like this karmic ex allowed this third party to intervene in your connection. Ex in the question here, well, ex in question. I feel like an ex is going to get like questioned, like interrogated here. They may have committed like a crime. They may be trying to, be, you know get on the run or something like that i don't know cold shoulder i feel like you are not talking to this person you guys broke up y'all at a distance like y'all been in separation like this is an old ex energy okay this is an old ex energy here fighting y'all fought a lot here it's funny how the energy definitely shifted from when i was talking about you know that dark protection that you have that divine dark protection that you have and now we're talking about this ex i feel like this ex could have activated something within you that divine darkness within you i feel like they was already dark and i feel like their darkness is i feel like they their darkness attacks people but that darkness that they had that attacked you helped activate your own divine darkness and, and i'm getting like activate your light but there's like you was enlightened to darkness, your darkness, your dark side here. Like it is like this X taught you how to 
be cold towards the ones that break boundaries or do you wrong or whatever like that. Like, you had to know how to, like, set boundaries here, get in your dark side and set boundaries. And that's not, that's not like, attacking them. That's just you getting in that cold energy, all right, and not letting them back in here. That's probably why y'all been in separation for so long because you did not let them in here. You're very protected. It's like you guys, like I say, you guys are very powerful. You have your own dark side that do protect you. All right. That could be a part of your ego as well. So you were very stubborn when you told this person no, they can't come back. And they could have been really mad about that. Yeah, pictures. Wow. I feel like they was using your pictures for magic, for voodoo here. They paid people and I feel like they could have did their own stuff. And I see it working on them. That's why they in regret here. All right. I feel like this person wished they would have did things differently. All right. With this missing you and reminiscing, I feel like they did more. They was more like regret than missing you and reminiscing. Maybe they missed the past when they was getting over on you. But look, you see these inferno spirits came in right on time. All right, and, and destroy that timeline that this karmic was trying to create with, with their voodoo and with their lies, manipulation, slander, illusions. This could have been a, like a dark magician that play around with like illusion spells or wanted to keep you stuck in their own, and keep you stuck in a trap. And that trap was like the illusion that they created, like messing with your mind here. That's why these powerful infernal spirits came through and protected you. All right, yeah. Bobby, do we have to go through the bottle? No, baby. All right, I feel like, you know... You got pulled away from this karmic energy here. This was definitely a lesson. Like I said, this karmic taught you a lesson about yourself, how to operate in that dark feminine energy. All right? I feel like you gave this person a chance. This person had different spiritual beliefs than you. Even if they were, like, spiritual, you was more probably peaceful zen. All right? And they were just dark, like I said. It, they they do spell. They do voodoo and stuff. So. Is this shampoo? No, that's so money. Yeah, they think of you a lot. I feel like they did cry, but I feel what like it's because their stubborn ways money. did not work on you. Money, please don't interrupt what me again. It's just regular body soap. You can't use it. Yeah, I feel like exactly. Thank you, spirit. You choose a higher guidance, a higher faith, even with this divine darkness, okay? It's like, it's not in a low vibration, okay? It's divine here, okay? And and, and you got to understand everything started in them darkness okay so yeah and divine energy do come from that uh this person operate in a low vibration they could be very chaotic all right i feel like everything is crumbling for this person they could be losing their job and stuff like that all right but you know whatever chaos they were trying to throw at you manifested well i won't say manifested no not that word it triggered okay your infernal spirits, okay, your spirits of chaos to come through and protect you. And I, I feel like that's why they in big-ass regret here. This person was very bossy and selfish, and they did not want to be flexible. They was very inflexible when it come down to you. They was very bossy with your life. This is why they feel like you chose your business over them, like you were cheating on them with your business or your, your, um, your faith. All right, this could even be God here, or this could be a new love, okay? they You moved on, they feel like you was been cheating, and that was not even true. It's like you trusting your intuition and your dreams. I feel like, honestly, you're following your dreams, and your intuition is telling you to follow your dreams. Whatever your dreams is telling you about this person, you followed it. You could have told them this, and they tried to say you crazy. All right, this person trying to say this unfinished business. They want to marry you. They want to propose. I feel like, nah, but it's a push and pull. It's a power struggle. You want to... Do your own thing, but they want to pull you from doing that and push you to do something else. Like, mess with your electromagnetic field. Mess with your energy field so you won't, you know, be able to, like, break your free will and bind you. Exactly, which is affecting your energetic field here, okay? It's affecting your free will, that free flow energy that flows within your energetic field. They wanted to mess with that. All right, cause you an imbalance. They're very stubborn. Stubborn came out twice. This is a stubborn energy. Okay, they're very stubborn, Starseeds. Yeah, I feel like they were obsessed with the spotlight. They wanted to be in the limelight. This could have been like an ex or someone that was trying to like steal your purpose as well or copy your purpose. They can't steal it, but they was trying to like harvest from you, energy harvest from you, so they can cultivate the energy, all right, to manifest and build like you. All right, I feel like you're meant to be in the spotlight, the limelight. I feel like you have an audience, and this karmic tried to say you're self-absorbed. All right, again, that could be your business, all right, you on social media. I feel like this is the person that's of self-absorbed, okay? I feel like they are self-absorbed, and they want to be in the limelight. They want everything to be about them. They want 
God to put them first over you. That's what I'm getting. Like, this is someone very selfish, even with, like, God's energy. That's that's crazy. And they need to manifest that God within themselves first. So they don't have to feel like, you know, God needs to put them first over you. All right? This person got caught red-handed. All right? And I feel like their secrets got exposed. All right? They're toxic here. I feel like they hang around a lot of a bunch of toxic people that have addictions. They gave them a bunch of bad advice. They was hanging around the wrong crowd. These are the type of people, these toxic people they was getting advice from is the type of people who needs advice and help themselves. So they fucked up with that one. Yeah, they I feel like they try to bind, all right, and bend a soul contract. Bend the soul contract you have between you and your infernos and your spirit team, your angels and all that. Okay, this person don't understand these interconnections. Like, how can you have infernal spirits or spirits of hell protect you and have angels? They don't understand that. They don't understand the interconnections. They don't understand the connection spirit. This is someone that's fake spiritual. All right, but they were trying to, like, bind you to a contract with them, a soul contract. All right, and I'm getting a money contract. They were even trying to manifest themselves. Having a come up off of your energy, off of your fortune, the fortune energy that is attached to you. This could even be like money you already have or just, you know, you have a fortunate spirit. Like you're able to manifest well. And this person was doing heavy ass spell work. Like I said, a dark magician doing heavy ass spell work to manipulate your energy in any way, shape or form that they could. They really tried, and this is why they all fucked up in the head. This is someone that is unemployed, they're broke, they're fired, been fired, living beyond their means. It's someone could have, that could have spent their money on everything, and now they need a place to stay. This is why they want a soul contract with you, because they need a place to stay, stay. All right, I feel like this person been trying to scare you a lot as well. All right, with spells. That's what I'm getting. That just came out of random. Like, this person may randomly just, like, come up in your mind and shit. And that's because they playing with spell work. That's a warning. Protect yourself. Like, this person really never got over what happened. All right, it says, apology, remorse for shame. I feel like they're ashamed for whatever they did to themselves. Like, whatever they did to you backfired on them, obviously. But it's, like, it, even with, like, guilt and shame, like, they feel ashamed. But a part of me also is getting like they don't feel so bad. Like they want you to still suffer. This is this is some sick energy. This is why you gotta keep following your divine guidance. They really feel like you had a secret love affair. They're trying to avoid the truth. All right, they. I feel like they feel guilty. I feel like they definitely feel guilty for what they've done. Like as far as like their spells, I'm getting like they they facing judgment for sure. Okay, I don't feel like they feel bad, though, for what they've done to you. I feel like they may feel bad because they got caught in how the shit manifested, how it fell on their face, and how you can't, I guess, you, you know, your intuition ended up being right and theirs was wrong, all right? But I feel like this person is trying to avoid the truth that they got you caught up in some type of controversy, some type of sex scandal, scandal, all right? They were trying to expose some type of truth, and it backfired. Look, a shame came out again. They got caught for something, and you exposed them. All right, and they do feel stupid here. All right, they got the real childish because after you exposed them, you started making it rain for yourself. You started manifesting, and that's when they started to be all regretful. Like I said, I don't feel like they feel bad for what they've done to you. I feel like they feel more ashamed of themselves for either scooping that low or thinking that it was going to work. Whatever they was going to do was going to work. Maybe even them talking about you, conspiring to get you set up, beat up. Like, that was stupid. That's how they feel, stupid. Like... They really thought that they had the power to manifest that if they were doing picture magic and telling other people this about you. But you're protected, Starseeds. You're protected by, and you know this stuff is real. This is someone that don't know that this stuff is real, these inferno spirits. You know that you are protected by powerful beings that can break timelines. Whatever timeline they, or reality they're trying to manifest for you, you have powerful beings that can destroy that. That chaos is was destroying that entire time. Like they, and then they trying to use spirituality. They need to stop playing. Okay? Like, honestly, what do you put in here? How did you... What? Oh. That was cool. I didn't even know this was in there. <laughs> it's juice. It's juice, right. <laughs> That's why they're jealous of your divine guidance. Because you're protected by light and dark and your light is real it's activated and your darkness definitely is real it's activated it follows you it protects you this person <clears throat> they got themselves caught up in a whole bunch of karma karmic debt here like this person don't even know what's about to come for them 
Okay, I'm kidding. They were trying to get you kidnapped here, caught up in some type of sex scandal, some type of scandal manifesting, some type of some type of kidnapping. They, I'm getting this person went beyond, above and beyond to take you down in this circle right back around on them. This can even be kidnap your spirit, take control of your spirit. They can do whatever they want with you. They can't do that. Not with picture magic. I'm not even being funny because that type of stuff you don't do at all. All right, but you don't con you don't even try to conjure any infernal spirit to take down somebody because they're not going to do no no fuckery that you think they're going to do. They're going to come after you. All right, and try to come after whoever else you trying to send after them if they're not protected. So it's a lose lose. Because you ain't living free. Okay, and this person got caught up in some bullshit with you. And, and understand, y'all understand, like, it's not how people think it is. Like, you know, most of us are protected. So that's not even going to happen. You know, we have beings on the other side. Powerful beings, right? That are going to stop whatever darkness they try to send after us before we even reach the 3D plane. You know, but this person don't know this. So they, so it's like the spirits can just play minds and tricks on them. All right, mind, I'm sorry, minds, mind games and tricks on them. Or the entity really do got them. But they ain't die. They just fucking dead in the inside and, and psychologically confused. I'm telling you, this shit manifests in ways that is, is different from what you see on TV. Yeah, you may see an entity, but it can also get in your mind and you were, and, and it's like you know it's there, but other people can't see it. People see you doing that stuff. People don't see an entity in your mind. That's the mind games and the trickery. And once they got your mind, man, they're going to get your your body and your spirit. And that's a full-blown possession. And they don't, and even, listen, and by the time they realize it could be an entity, it's too dang late. So, that's why I don't mess around with that stuff. I allow them to come and protect me when it's needed. No. Because they know, my, my spirit team know the type of work I do. So, they know I need to be protected. <laughs> I, I, I made a vow to do this, to come on earth and do this. So I have to come with high level protection. <laughs> Me and my babies, we are royal as well. You're welcome. And that applies with you guys too. Whatever they try to do backfire because you guys come with high level protection. Like they can't mess with you and you divinely got it. You see all. You see all, literally. Okay, you guys can see Dark, that, that dark womb, cosmic womb within you as well. Just tap within. All of that is within you. Universe, the heavens, the cosmic womb. All of that. You got to tap within. Obviously, because we in the 3D plane. <laughs> so you have to tap within the tap. With, to, to go, to tap. You have to tap in to go within all these other realms. And realities and, and time and spaces and stuff. These cosmic waves. And this person clearly, you know, did not understand those steps. Or maybe they tried and failed. I don't know. All right? Because I'm getting a strong vibe. Like, this person tried to, like, copy you spiritually. They probably knew about voodoo magic. But all this spiritual stuff. Even about chakras I'm getting, the chakra system, they learned that from you. Infernal spirits, all that deep spirituality, they learned that from you. And they don't want to admit that. They want to say they learned it from their own third eye, and that's not true. You know you taught them. And they wasn't supposed to know this. All right, so maybe you know your karma for telling them this is them trying to utilize the same knowledge and wisdom that you taught them against you. I mean, you guys, we got to accept and take accountability. Sometimes we tell the, the wrong person the wrong thing, okay? We may think it's the right thing, but it's the wrong thing. Even about us and our experiences, they can use that against us and it will backfire. That's, that's the karma. You told the wrong person something that's sacred and secret. Don't do that again. Listen. Continue to listen first before you speak. That's something that I'm learning. Sometimes it got to take you a few days to listen to a person before you finally speak. That's how, that's how you make new friends. You listen to them first. Especially if they came to you, you listen. 
You don't tell them anything much about you because you know you sacred. You know you divine. All right, and and you don't you don't know this person much, and this person don't know you obviously. But you know you sacred and divine, and you know you're gonna figure this person out just because you're chosen, and not that you have the upper hand. Just because you chosen, you need to fill out their spirit, their energy. What what is their purpose for coming to you? Do they need my help? Do they need my assistance? Are you soul trial? Are you meant to be my friend? Well, I gotta wean, I still gotta wing you out, figure you out. Or are you someone to, to set me up? You working for the enemy underhandedly. You wanna be nosy and spying and stuff like that. I gotta fill you out. I got and there's nothing wrong with that. A person wanna fool you and tell you, you no, know, I'm here for this, I'm here for that. You know, why you gotta be forceful and tell me that? You know what I'm saying? You know, just let it flow. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like <clears throat> and you wouldn't tell when someone have a good conscience because they're operating out of their pure, authentic energy. But that's, it's like, again, that takes time for you to know that. Because it's like, it's just like I'll take time for this person to know you. And that's how a proper relationship is built. That's how you properly build trust. You take your time. You take it slow. You don't rush. You don't give all your energy to one person. You could have made that mistake with this person. Not only did you give your time and your energy, a lot of it, you could have even gave a lot of information. Taught them stuff about spirituality that they had no business even knowing about. You could even, if you know about the infernal spirits, you could have told them about these chaotic beings here, okay, that protect us. That's a part of us. That's why we have chaotic sides, okay? Part of that, I guess, negative charge. And they were like, oh, I want to go within myself and find that too and try to get back at you. You know what I'm saying? Like, they, they tried and failed, but it was an experience, a livid experience I'm getting. Because you felt that push and pull, even after you separated from them. They wanted you to go through power struggles. And it was be and you went through a power struggle because they was trying to pull you from your energy, your power. And you're trying to push yourself and go an opposite direction, and they're pulling. All right, maybe you're trying to, you know, grab your power back from them, and they're making it hard. Well, then you transmit, you transmute and make new power. That's what I'm getting. Because if this person was doing energy transference, trying to transfer energy, felt just you felt it hard getting some of your energy or power back, you just transmute into new energy, better energy. And I feel like a lot of you guys did that with new creative ideas. Whatever idea they thought they took from you, whatever you know energy they thought they were stealing, you a generator. You just regenerated new energy. You pulled yourself together and got more energy. That's why it was so hard for them to continue this push and pull. It was hard for them to keep you in this energy. Hold on, money. Do we have something to bottle? No, money. All right? They couldn't keep you in balance for long. They couldn't keep you bound and stuck for long. Because you overcame and overpowered that push and pull that they was trying to manifest. That imbalance here. Okay? And then we got the infernos protecting you. So, y'all don't worry about a thing. But this karmic did do a lot. And I feel like, you know, again, we have to do, we do have to take accountability and accept that, you know, these, these are the consequences. Especially if, if there's red flags and we ignore them, we thinking, oh, well, you know, we, we, we can help them, blah, blah, blah. And, and that's not even a damn case. You can't help this person. This person don't want to be helped. All right, yeah, I feel like they was determined and persistent to take you down. They wanted to fool you as well. This person wanted to fool you with, like, 3D gifts and presents to make you think that, you know, they love you. And then I'm getting they would just left you with this deuces, just cut ties and walked away and left you heartbroken. And Spirit said no. Spirit blocked that from even manifesting. That was that's, it, That is what they was thinking, Okay. And they got karma for even thinking that way about you because you are a royal divine being. Like, they got to be careful of what they think towards you. You got to be careful with your thoughts towards people. Yes, you will get karma. All right? Because these people are royal and divine and protected and they're not doing anything to you. Why are you bothering them? You know thoughts can manifest. All right? Can mess up a person's flow and energy. 
All right, and I feel like again with this man, listen, this person had toxic love. I feel like they got exposed for being very toxic, and that could be why they feel so ashamed. Is because they got exposed for being toxic. They could be could still be trying to say you're toxic, you was a toxic one, you did this, you did that. But nobody cares about that anymore. It's like this person have a love and hate relationship with you. And I feel like they very much was addicted to you. And I feel like they was caught up in a lot of drama here, okay? All right, whatever they did to you backfired. I keep getting it. Like, they got caught. They could have got caught for cheating. They got exposed for having more than one love. They had you caught up in gossip and drama here. Yeah, you could expose them for whatever lies that... that was the gossip and drama, okay? The lies and the slander could expose them for for them being the ones that was the <clears throat> cheater, the bullshitter, the one that was doing the black magic, all right? They was living beyond their means. Somebody is really broke because they live beyond their means, Star Seeds. They was, this is that X energy. And I'm getting like the third party as well. Like they all going broke. But, like, a lot of people around you that was doing you wrong is going to be, like, going through towers. I'm getting boulders. It's like their towers is being destroyed by huge boulders. Earth spirits, man. They're getting effed up and destroyed. Okay? They was toxic. This is why they receiving so much karma. They was toxic, Starseed. Straight up and down. They try to make it seem like it was you. And they try to throw eggs at your face. And, and that shit got... That shit backfired because, listen, they can never make you feel ashamed for anything because you guys are of high value. I told you. And they, whatever eggs they try to throw at you, they got karma for that because you were impressed. Who, who, how dare you throw eggs at me? They got karma, abomination. The infernos came. All right, you are the impressed. They know you beautiful and sexy. You know you beautiful and sexy, but they know it too. You are abundant and confident. I told you you have an abundant spirit and an abundant heart. You give, give, give. And you do expect to receive, but you don't receive from these people. And that is what drains you. That, that is what depletes you. Okay? I feel like this is why this person was doing picture magic on you. Because they know that you're the impress. They was probably doing picture magic for one or two things. For this reason, it could be to mess up your beauty. Or they know how beautiful you are and they wanted you back. So they were doing picture magic to bring you back. Okay? they. I feel like this person know you beautiful here. I feel like they was doing picture magic to, to alter your beauty and to bring you back. To mess with your abundance and your confidence. You'll be insecure. It's like they was trying to break you down. And then reel you back in as this broken impress. This distorted impress. Like karmic. It's like they had to make you karmic in order for them to have power over you, starseeds. And that's what's motherfucking toxic about them, is that they need a, a karmic, toxic woman to match their toxicity. Well, you know what? They're going to have that. And they're going to really see how it's like to be with someone that's distorted. And they are distorted because they, they, they're not aware. You know, they, they, it's like they're not healing. They're, they, they're not even aware of their distortion. It's going to be like a high-level, high-value distort, not high, not high-value, high-level distorted karmic, okay? A high-level karmic that's going to destroy this person. And I feel like it's going to be their lesson because I feel like this is what they wanted. They wanted to be this person in your life that have power over you, like a narcissist would, like a karmic would. So they have to deal with a karmic to know how it feels to get destroyed by a karmic, Okay? Because this karmic, if you ain't let them, I mean, I'm sorry, if you would have let them, they would have destroyed you. I'm getting, you know, take it how it resonates, but in past connections, okay, let me, is this like, what type of ex is this? Is this like a baby dad here, okay? Or is this someone from your past? Or maybe, you know, you was off and on, all right, and, and had different suitors or whatever like that. But I'm just getting, like, in the past, or even with this person, you could allow them to destroy you. And this time, you're not allowing them to do that. Or other masculines did. And you are not, and you did not allow this person to come in and destroy you. You you stopped that in its tracks, and that's why they got mad. Maybe that was one of their sole purpose with you, all right, is to destroy you. And, and, and that did not manifest, because you are of high value. You look at yourself as this, as high value here, the impress here. Beautiful, sexy, abundant, and confident. That is who you are. Self-love at the bottom of the deck. Bam. 
You love you. You taking back control and power. Taking back your control and power. You're finally being happy. All right, you are of high value, high status. This is why these infernos protect you. Understand, some of these infernos are royal beings, are of royal status, okay? I look at Hades as one, okay? It depends on how you look at, you know, these chaotic beings. And you have to be willing to accept that there's... there's you know, even though it's chaos, yes. But it still comes with order. Can't be out here just destroying, just to just to destroy like this karmic was doing. You're out of order. You're out of whack. You got to love yourself enough to not drain your energy on someone that's worthless. That's how you receive high value, high status with the universe. Respect and honor in that great room. Not destroying it. Okay, you are the energy that you put out, and the energy that you put out affect others, even the cosmos. Utilizing the cosmos to manifest this chaotic energy. All right, and using it with with such low vibrational energy, karmic. All right, and and the intention is just like no, and then you're trying to use it against someone that that uh that is of high value, and that high value ties in with the self love that she has for herself. That self love adds that high value to her status, to her name. Okay, which means the love that you have for yourself is always going to keep you at the top. It's never, it's like, you're never going to be knocked down to the bottom, to the ground. Okay? As, as long as you love yourself. If you don't love yourself, then that will happen. If you allow this person hate for you to manifest on you hating yourself. Those projections of, I hate this about you. Even though it's something good, but then you end up hating it. No, that's, that's not about to happen. Because you love yourself at a high rate, at a high level. And that's what shields you and protects you. That's what helps you take back your control. Self-love help you take back control. All right? Self-love help you love you. Help you become the, man, the, the, the manifest. Become the impress. Help you manifest yourself into that impress. That's real. You can manifest yourself into the impress. Duh. We manifest, we manifest ourselves into something powerful all the time. I manifested myself to be a YouTuber that reads tarot cards. It's all about how you like perceive it. If you look at it as dumb and stupid, then you're not gonna, you know, receive the energy from it, the download from it. Maybe this person was the type to look down. On the fact that you are spiritual and how you see things and how you view the world and see things spiritually. But that doesn't even matter. You love yourself. <laughs> and that's what matters. Okay. We have secretive. I feel like you are, I'm getting you a very like seductive person. Like this is a part of like your dark side. Maybe your dark side is secretive. Okay. All right. Maybe, you know, you're very mysterious. You may know how it's, it's like. Again, I feel like this situation helped activate this dark side of you. Okay, I'm not going to lie to you. It's like with this sneaky energy, you got to know how to be sneaky. You got to know how to use that stealth energy, okay? All right, especially if you are utilizing your sneaky energy for the greater good, okay? Using it against someone that's trying to be sneaky. You got to know how to combat that energy, all right? It's not about being mysterious. All right, with this hiding information, this person feels like you was hiding information, stuff that... They feel like they're picking up intuitively and it's just not true. I, I, I'm telling you, with dating, like you could have found new love and they felt like you was already talking to that person. Wow, I'm getting this. This person you're talking to is also an inferno spirit. Wow. Okay, like that's their their dark energies here. Like I said, it's nothing to be afraid of. Okay, I feel like your karmics was snooping. All right, in your energy. Like, at, like getting readings done. I said that. All right, and I feel like whatever they picked up from that reading... And I feel like it ties in with your protection. All right. It made them very mad. It made them like envious of you even more. Like they could they they was told that they couldn't get you. This person was a hater, very spiteful, very jealous. I'm telling you, somebody was jealous of the fact that your shadow couldn't been it, 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 it couldn't been seen. Like this person was mad that they couldn't see your shadow. I don't feel like they have the third eye to see shadows here. Okay, unless a shadow wants them to be seen. Once you know the shadow wants itself to be seen. Your shadow is very secretive. 
But like this person trying to tap into your shadow. And that's another reason why those infernos came through. Okay? Because a part of your shadow is Hades. Okay? And Hades had to come through and protect you. This is crazy. Because it's like, what I'm also getting is that like this person... Y'all take it how it resonates. But this person was trying to like collect information from your shadow or your higher self. Alright, and they didn't get any information from both your shadow and higher self. Wow. See, I'm telling you, this is why they were spiritually attacking you because of how powerful you are. Alright, I heard your shadow is a part of your higher self, okay? And I felt some type of energy penetrating through, like... My solar plexus, all right? High vibrational darkness. But let's just keep going. I feel like this, this is the thing. This person really don't understand the light and dark aspect. They look at dark as evil and wicked. And they look at light as angelic. All right, they don't understand how even this light that we speak of come from this cosmic void here. Primordial waters. This person, they don't understand that. They're not, like, tapped into esoteric. Like, I tell you, they, they in conflict with your third eye. That's why I see this in front of it. Like, they in conflict. Like, they want you to project the same, you know, spiritual belief that... That they see. Like they couldn't even do a spell work to alter your third eye. So you won't see what you already see. Because they feel, they feel like you was wrong. They may feel guilty for that. Alright. I feel like this person. I feel like they do feel guilty for that. and Because and they, they're constantly going through like spiritual attacks now. I can't make it up. They're constantly like seeing a demon. Or feel like they're being attacked. This is their karma. This is divine intervention. Okay. Whatever demon that's being sent to them was like divine intervention. Like that was God. Okay. They're facing their demons now. I feel like this could even... You know, if they were sending their own demons, all right? Okay, they learning that they have shadows that protect them. They're trying to send their own demons. Their demons are face, are attacking them. They're facing their own demons. All right, Netflix and chill. I feel like while this person is up at night being attacked by demons, you're like chilling. All right, at home watching Netflix. All right, spending time with some. You're spending time with someone else, okay? This could have been someone that was like a friend. All right, then y'all started maybe messing around here, but they really desire you. Yeah, self-pleasure, sexual thoughts, intense feelings. I feel like you really make this person feel good here. All right, they make you feel good. All right, because I, you may feel like this person play mind games. All right, they could be trying to avoid like their true feelings. I feel like this, okay, whoever knew you're talking to, take out resonate. I hope I'm not moving too fast. All right, this is after this ex situation. All right, you could, you know, the new person you're talking to, they do desire you, but... The mind games is coming from them not expressing how they truly feel about something. All right. And I feel like they want it. This could be even y'all coming back together, a reconciliation. I feel like they're going to come back here and be with you. Yeah, y'all going to date again. Yeah, this is this person is an inferno. I can't make it up. Okay, inferno is right after, right behind, well, in front of dating. Well, behind dating. All right. I feel like whatever this person was avoiding, you guys are going to reconcile that. Come Resolve those issues. Maybe, has, like I said, that's something to do with their feelings here. Maybe you felt like a block, like they didn't love you. I feel like they was hiding something. Like they didn't want to tell you something. Maybe that they wasn't ready for whatever it is that he was asking for at the time or they needed time to like cultivate that energy. Maybe they were just moving too slow and you and you took that as a sign of like drama. Like, uh-uh, you're not the one. And they're going to come back and resolve things. Like it wasn't that. They just wasn't ready at the time. You gave them the cold shoulder and they couldn't believe it. You felt like it was being unfaithful. You chose yourself, okay? Which is fine, and this person respected that, but they're coming back around wanting, like, you know, to resolve, not to fight or argue. Okay? Ooh, that strawberry cake looked good. All right, but this person... I saw a strawberry cake on her phone. This person is going through, like, heavy, like, spiritual attacks. Yeah, I don't even know what the, um... Name this. Okay, you... It's like, oh, my God, you are divine royalty. All right, and that's why you have these infernos protecting you. 
All right, I'm getting with this pop up. I'm getting pull up. This is why these infernos pull up because you are of high value status of in within the cosmos, this cosmic realm. You are in high value, like high ranking. All right, you the impress here. All right, this person may try to pop up at your house. Maybe ex try to pop up, and 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 I feel like that pop up was supposed to lead to like some type of intimacy. But you know they're a liar. You know they are deceptive, and they could be in another relationship. Yeah, they're dating someone else here. All right, we got that inferno again with dating. I feel like this person, this is why they try to flip on you that you have a double life because they got caught for cheating. They try to come back. You told them no. You, They find out you move on, and all of a sudden you was been talking to that person. All right, even when they try to pop up, you were still like, uh-uh, get out of here. Like, your child is even coming here. That's, what's, that's not for everyone. That's for someone. All right, let's get two more. They was doing voodoo. How dare they? And they was the one that was unfaithful. They were cheating on you with an ex, asking ex questions and stuff. I feel like for some of you guys, their ex could have been like a reader or read cards or like into divination. They was asking ex questions about you and them. That's sick. They feel like y'all have unfinished business together. All right, but I feel like if you guys are, you know, waiting to reconcile with, a, you know, that person that we talked about, all right, I'm getting that new person. That was after that old ex, that karmic ex. I feel like they're going to come back. I feel like they're going to come back around the time that ex tries to come back again. For a lot of you guys, the ex could have tried to already come back. But I just see like a clash. Like they both going to be trying to come back at the same time. Look, red flag, bam, rock bottom. I can't make shit up because <clears throat> the ex is always attached. All right, he's just waiting for a perfect time to come. And he's going to try to come right when this new person comes in. All right, the person that you're waiting to reconcile with. Or this could be new love. And it's meant to confuse you, okay? But I feel like you're going to choose the right person in the end. You're not going to choose this ex. But for some reason, it's just causing some, some type of clash where they both coming at the same time. All right, this person is a cheater, man. I'm telling you. And this is why you project what it, your ex is a cheater. This is why you projected that your new person after this ex was cheating because of what you went through. It's like you still needed to heal. That's a good thing that you did choose yourself because you needed to heal. But I guess you realized you didn't miss this person. All right, then you probably realized you was probably playing mind games with yourself. All right, you needed to just mature here. But I feel like, you, again, with this ex, they was very immature and they was testing you a lot here. They was analyzing you. I feel like the new person after the karma X was also analyzing you too. That's probably why they was moving slow. I'm getting that of pinnacles that's analyzing. All right. Maybe there's some things that's different about you that this person, this new person needed time to accept. And it's nothing bad. Maybe it just. How, I'm getting how the way you perceive things is not how he perceives things or she perceives things. It's like y'all in alignment, but I feel like this person may just need to reach your level of enlightenment. All right? Because I feel like you are enlightened. Okay, but with this lesson sick and tired here, I feel like this person's confused. This, I don't, Somebody do not know what they're picking up from their cards, their tarot cards. That's what I'm getting. All right? Somebody don't know if they are the opposite. Like, if they are, that opposite give me the karmic. All right? <clears throat> Cause I'm seeing she's opposite and in, in, with red. This person is trying to figure out if it's them or if it's you. With this positive and negative charge, okay, I'm getting, you know, magnetic and electromagnetic. Like your electromagnetic field is very powerful. You guys can attract a lot here, okay, and co-create a lot. You guys can do a lot. All right, so much energy attached to your electromagnetic field here. Like, good energy, magic, power, all of that. This could have been why you attracted this damn karmic energy. Because this karma needs to learn how to love their self. Whatever they did, show that they didn't love themselves. Okay, they they put, obviously, the third party before you and whoever else. And, and they... And, they put you in the back burner. They don't love themselves. They can't love you. And, and, and they quick to allow someone else to come in and, and mess up. But whatever the, whatever is keeping them happy, they need to grow up. They're just immature. All right? Yeah, they in big regret, but they need to re mature and reevaluate things. All right, I'm feeling some confusion. Like, this person be watching you confused. They just don't get it. They just don't understand something. 
All right, constant. I told you. Look, all these cards just flew out. Like this person energy is like a mess. I feel like they want to dump all their problems and issues onto you because, like I said, hold you like that teddy bear. All right, because they so confused, they unsure, they don't know what choice or decision to make, and they need and they need your help. They're hurting. They're contemplating in this hurting energy. They're very depressed. They could be crying. They're stuck in pain and sorrow because they know that they surrounded themselves a around a bunch of toxic people. And they try to say that was you. I feel like this person was even depressed over you and what you've done, but you ain't do anything wrong. I feel like you, this is how they see you. You put it on your big girl shoes and walking away. That caused them depression. And that made them blame you for why they're stuck and surrounded by toxic people because they thought you was going to help them get out of that. They should have accepted your help when the time was there. Now, they don't miss, listen, they don't miss the water till the, the well run dry. Now the well is dry. They ain't got no feminine to help them flow. They, they, they're fucking stuck and hurting, stuck in sorrow, crying in the bathroom, sad, hurt, in pain. They're trying to figure out how they can get themselves out of this situation, but they know they stuck. But these toxic people, this can even be a baby mom. They know they suck. They know they fuck up. This can even be a marriage, okay? Come ex could have married someone. Like, I'm telling you, this is not y'all energy. Y'all are not confused. It's this karmic. They're very much confused. And people can look at them and tell, like, they're confused. Like, they don't know what they want. They, they even tell people that they're confused. They even tell people, like, well, tell people things that show them that they're confused. Like, okay. They'll say one thing, and then they'll say another. Like, they'll be back and forth. Like, this is why people's tired of hearing from them, because they're just confused. Like, I feel like you guys are focused on your business. Like, I feel like you love your business. Your business is really about to flourish. All right? I'm getting feathered. Your business is protected by a bunch of feathers. That's angelic um, beings. Yeah, because karmics try to spiritually attack your business. All right, again, a karmic thought you put your business, your dreams before them. You were cheating on them with your dreams, so they tried to spiritually attack it. And now they got all this karma with spirits that they were trying to use to attack you that couldn't attack you. They got all this karma with, well, all this um bad karma. Yeah, that's just, I was about to say karma with karma. <laughs> they got to face karma. They got unfinished business with karma. All right, they got to fulfill some type of proposal that they made, some type of unfinished business. This proposal, unfinished, unfinished business they made with a spirit that they try to send after you. They owe the spirit. This is a demonic spirit, y'all. Listen, they need soul forgiveness. All right, I'm getting soul regression. Or maybe past life regression here. All right, or what is it? Soul retrieval. They need to, like, maybe they're forgetting who they are. Okay? Yeah, this this person, man, somebody try to forget how faithful and hateful they were. Like, somebody's going to try to come back in your life and, and, and act like nothing happened. All right? Listen, again, that could be this ex trying to come back. Like I said, they're crazy, though. That's why you shouldn't trust them because they're still crazy. They're still surrounded by toxic people, and that toxicity is still around them. All right? And it's like these people may just sit around, do drugs, drink all the time. You know, if y'all smoke weed, y'all may be smoking y'all lonesome. All right, I smoke to connect with the divine, okay? And this, these people just, <clears throat> they smoke because they're hurting. They do drugs and, and they drink because they're hurting. You know what I'm saying? Broken mirrors. Look, they this person have addiction. You could have been their addiction. They, you were stuck on their damn mind. All right, this person wanted to testify against you for messing with their head. They trying to say you the reason why that they was put in a nut house. They trying to say you put them in a nut house. They trying to blame you for stuff. They could even try to call the police and say this stuff. This is, wow, this is nuts. All right, this person, listen, listen, listen here. Roller coaster, that is y'all connection with this person. It was a roller coaster. It was toxic. But this energy helped activate. This toxic energy you dealt with this person activate you, the true you, which is that dark divine, okay? That primordial you. Your, your divine darkness, that, that dark goddess within you, okay? These toxic people around you will never understand this. They don't think you're the devil, all right? And then at the same time, desire what you know. All right, you got to get away from these type of people. These pe these type of people are lame. All right? Oh, it does say here, I, listen, it says compromise, making amends. It says conflict resolution. But I'm, I was seeing that this person <laughs> had a whole bunch of conflict with you. Maybe they want to resolve conflict now. All right? Make a, you know, 
conflict resolution, make a resolution with whatever conflict they started spiritually because they got all these demonic attacks. Now they need your help. Now they need your spiritual help. I said this um, in my shorts that an ex needs your help. I feel like their energy is so confusing all over the place. All right, that's why it's like, Maybe it's hard for you to keep up. Maybe it's like they pop up in the in the moments where you're not even feeling it. Like I said, out of nowhere. All right, they need your help here. I feel like their mind is scattered. Their mind is scattered here. They like their crown is not their star seeds. They're definitely a possessed here. Somebody is trying to call you from an unknown number. All right, I feel like it's this ex. I feel like they used to call you from like an unknown number just to like fight with you and argue with you. They were so toxic. They would even fight and argue with you with the third party there. Like the third party, I mean, I'm seeing a phone call between you and the person and your ex. And then the third party grabbing the phone saying all this crazy stuff. And you defended yourself, said what you said. This It's like this karmic third party. No, she got nothing on you, okay? And it's not even about that, but she know. That's because she could have hung up or you could have hung up. She just knew that she, she can't F with you. Like, she better leave you alone. Like, your energy is powerful. You know what I'm saying? Look, message. Yeah, there was definitely a conversation. You could express your feelings. Like, told her, like, honey, you is not on my level. You can keep him. He's toxic. I don't want him. You stupid. He called my phone with the bullshit. If this is a baby dad, it could you could be, like, saying that it's just that. About the kids. He's making it more than what it is. You told her, you know, about herself. And it showed her that you, it's like you telling her about herself showed her how much you love yourself. It's so weird because it's like you show, it's like you telling her about herself, show her like, you know, that's true. Like you made her insecure and that's what showed her that you are of high value. Okay. That you love yourself more because she is doing or whatever it is that you're saying. Like that's, that's the energy that she's doing. If, she, if you're saying like she's with him. Being stupid and dumb, that's what she's doing. She's defending him. Okay, trying to clean up his mistakes, that's what she's doing. And you made her feel insecure. And that's good, because she should not be trying to go up against a high-value divine being. An uh, empress like you, no way. Alright, they need to slow down. Sit down somewhere. Alright? I feel like you guys definitely could be talking to someone new, having new conversations, and these karmic exes trying to send spiritual texts. To cause drama between you and your new person here. And that backfire. It's like people don't want to talk with them. People know. Somebody was tapping to, into your phone. It's like people know that this person was tapped into your phone or your emails and stuff. And people could have went off. Like you going to go to jail. You're going to get in trouble for that. That shit going to come back on to, you know, the family, us. That's what I'm getting here. All right. This Listen, he could, their ex could have had a baby with the third party. And she's saying whatever you're doing to, to divine feminine is going to come after us. It's like now she's scared. Okay, whatever she tried to say about you backfired in the past, and now she's scared here. I'm getting she was still doing spell work though. Okay, she was. I'm getting she was just scared of you know him getting in trouble for I guess him being oh yeah whoever this ex is man or female. I, she they with the third party was just afraid of them getting caught as far as like being tapped into your devices. But I'm seeing she was always like doing spells, like thinking that it's gonna work this time. All right, that's why I feel like that's why she also want to come out of conflict with you. Like right now, she could be fighting with the ex. This could all be past energy. Okay, take it how it resonates. All right, or it's going to be past energy, and she's going to be trying to come to you wanting to resolve things. If if she had a baby by your ex, she's going to be trying to like, and you have a baby by him too. She's going to want to try to make up by like you know inviting the kids somewhere all together. I feel like you. I just saw no. I literally just saw no. Oh, my God. Because, listen, this karmic going to come with half the truth. She's not going to come with the full truth. All right? She's going to come with a lie. I literally just saw no. Oh, my God. Look, no. Don't even communicate. No. I feel like that's exactly what she's going to do. I'm even getting pop-ups. She's going to try to, like... Nah, I'm not, I'm not seeing her pop up, but I'm just seeing her, like, coming to your house when that event's supposed to happen with y'all going out with the kids all together. I see her coming there with, like, fake smiles. It's like, it's just to be in your business, just to see how you how good you've been doing ever since, you know, y'all separated from each other and, you know, blah, blah, blah. Because I don't, I don't see her last being with your ex long. I don't see them lasting long. All right? I feel like she's like a, she, she's, she's like a monitoring spirit. All right? And she's being, like, controlled and governed by, like, a, a higher being that's not of light. Okay? But it's higher than her. That's why I say higher being. All right? I feel like she's, like, a monitoring spirit here. Okay? So, it's like... And I explained... 
that these karmics do work for that 1% plus. Okay, that's watching us. And they will send these damn karmics. And to start all this drama. Okay, and it, it starts with the soul first. Okay, as above, so below. They sign these contracts and they come on earth to do all this fuck shit. Okay, and I feel like your ex was a part of that. In this third party. Some of y'all could have like relish. Some people like relish here. Okay, or um, maybe like a sandwich with like relish. I want some relish, y'all. I'm about to cook something soon. All right, yeah, look, your ex is still contemplating. He still wants to message you. This is your ex. He or she is still contemplating on messaging you because he know damn well he's toxic. Like, he don't want to tell you how people cursed him out and burned him for lying on you and shit. He don't want to talk about that. He always want to just talk about, or she always want to talk about what people said about you. Hmm? You what? Oh, no. Don't worry about it. I'm going to get it. Can you put it in the sink? Okay. Yeah, look. They're heartbroken because they're like stagnant. They're stuck and rooted here with the hangman. They're on hold. They have, they're have they going to be stuck and rooted in this energy until they gain some enlightenment on how to be better. They need to heal. They need to gain, they need to gain enlightenment on healing. Yeah. They need to like understand like healing is important. Look, Impress came out. They also need to understand that they can't hurt you. They can't do anything to bind you, to cut in between, come in between you and your divine energy. You're always going to come out on top. That's why they root it now. And I feel like their pain is, is like a, it's causing like a huge barrier along the energy. They feel like they're blocked from their own pain. Their pain is blocking them, Starseeds. They're stuck. All right, yeah, I feel like they need to move on. And they're going to move on with these hexes and curses and bindings attached to them, I'm getting. This root. Attacks to them. I feel like they're going to move on. Money. Stop. I don't know where money is. I think she's in the bathroom. They're going to be moving on, moving forward. Stuff. Yeah, I feel like they they was blocked from attacking you. Hurt people hurt people. Spirit blocked them from hurting you. All right? Yeah, spirit blocked their pain from affecting you. Money. Even like the kidnapping. Yeah. Because that was supposed to be, like, hurt you. Uh-uh. I don't know why they wanted you kidnapped so bad, Okay. Use a picture of magic to manifest that. I don't know why they did that. That's your backfire. Look, they're dealing with so much conflict right now. And I feel like that conflict is pain, man. Like, they're inner demons. They're being attacked, Starseeds, by their own damn demons. All right? Your spirit team already fucked them up. That's their own magic attacking them. All right? But that's their own childish mind with the Page of Wands. All right, Mercury rules, you know, the mind as well, okay? And I'm just seeing, you know, this person have a childish mind, and their mind is the one that is attacking them because you know your thoughts can manifest. You get what I'm saying? I got Mercury with, with Magician, okay, with the Magician card. All right, and you know your thoughts can manifest. It's like this person, bad thoughts is manifesting in their reality, in an altered reality that is, that is attached to their... 3D reality is like they're experiencing this in the 3D, but it's all in the mind. Like I said, other people can't see it, but they can. All right? And it's some demons, too, that is like amplifying this shit. They're being attacked by demons, and these demons is like using that energy for them to react in this way. Okay? I'm not taking these two. Yeah, I feel like they was working against you in the shadows. All right? And this is what happened. This is just what happened. Look, wow, they try to end you. Ten of Swords. I was trying to clarify the impress, and I got the Ten of Swords. This is just the raw truth. They try to kill you. They try to end you many times. They try to send daggers after you. And you resurrected from that. All right, you evolved from that. And I'm getting you resolved, okay? I'm getting, like, you resolve whatever issue they try to put you in. Like, this could be them trying to utilize your own pain against you, and you resolve that through healing. All right, then they try to hurt you with their own pain. That didn't work. They're karmic. This is someone that was a karmic when they was like young teenager and they grew up to be a bigger karmic. All right. And I feel like their karmic energy, their narcissistic energy blew up in their face. Okay. When, when it's like this narcissist cannot defeat you because you are a lot stronger than them. Your self love and confidence alone is what defeated them. All right. That shit backfired. Okay. And look, you again, that power is chaos, man. Listen, you, it's like you have chaos energy that protects you. Okay. Whatever chaos energy they try to send towards you definitely got sent back towards them. 
All right, this person is is not who they who they think they are and who they say they are. All right, they're just a, I'm getting they just a queen of wands, a copycat. This could be the third party. This could have been a female doing all this to you. Take how it resonates. I was getting an ex, but you could have had a a witch working with an ex. All right, this is someone that's like watching you here, trying to be like you. Trying to say that you're trying to be like her. This and oh, I told you. This is could be like a witch working with a masculine. And this witch trying to say you trying to be like her. This third party could be a witch, or this could have been a friend that went to your masculine here, thinking she can take you down with your ex. Well, not with your masculine. I'm sorry, your karmic masculine. This is a distorted, emotional, manipulating ass masculine who thought that he can, you know, lie to you and stuff. And uh, uh, no, he got ran over here. It's like he, your ex-masculine decided to, well, ex-karmic masculine decided to choose you too late. All right? He was already working with the devil, okay? Prior to even wanting you back. Now he wants you back, and it's too late. He got tarnished by the devil. Look, two nines. He's going through a who's ending. He know this situation ended between you two. He's in fear. He's stuck in fear and stuck in paranoia. He is stuck in a low-ass frequency. He's going to be stuck in this dense dimension here. All right? He's not in a higher dimension. All right, I'm, I'm telling you, I'm getting 2D energy as well, two-dimensional. Like, this person is fucked up. All right, you're gifted here. They try to take your gifts, your prosperity. I can't make nothing up. You're gifted. God handed this gift to you. All right? And this karma tried to take it. They try to steal it. All right, take it for themselves, and that's why they're the hermit. They're not cosmic. All right? Listen, God is protecting you here. You have many other gods protecting you here. All right, but we do talk about, you know, our creator God too. All right, and, well, you know, Father God. <laughs> our Father, our genes is connected with this Father in the heavens. All right, our DNA genetics is connected with that, right? So, um, yeah, you're protected. Okay, like, I don't understand. This karma just can't get you. They just cannot get you. Mm-mm. It's like I'm seeing this King of Swords standing before you. The King of Swords always give me God energy too. I even get Archangel Michael with the King of Swords, to be honest with you. Okay? I do because of the sword. <laughs> All right? So, yeah. Look, I, listen. I told you it was always working for this damn devil here. They thought working with the devil would be good. This could even, even be a Capricorn. They thought that was smart. And that was, look, they regret it. This could even be, you know, the actual devil here. Or just being in that toxic energy, working with those toxic people. They regret that shit. They got karma. Okay? That's just simply what it is. It's like, there's nothing else. It's like, there's no other way to explain it. But they got karma for doing stuff they wasn't supposed to do. I'm getting conjuring. All right? This person obviously don't have the right keys to conjure. Or they was breaking the rules with conjuring here. All right? That's what I'm getting. It's like, maybe they're not supposed to conjure. All right, they got karma. All right, justice with the higher fan here. I feel like somebody got great karma for breaking spiritual rules and laws that's connected with the cosmos. I feel like and this person was trying to hold that back. Like, I ain't facing karma. It's you. You making me face karma. No. They try to use that. You could have told them, like, you know, I'm, I am karma. Like, how I say, you know, we guys, we were karma. You know, you mess with us, you get karma. They try to use that against you, and it's like, you did me wrong, so you want to get karma. Exactly, you did me wrong. You don't be mad at me, be mad at karma. I can't control what you do to me backfire. And that's what anyone else. Tell, tell them that. Tell them if they do their neighbor wrong, they're going to get karma. They, whoever they do wrong, we all protected by karma. But it's certain people... That is, is, is more or less protected than others, okay? Because of the energy you possess. If you're a karmic person, you get what I'm saying? If you're a karmic person, don't expect for, you know, you to be protected by, like, good karma. If you're out here putting out bad karma. You know what I'm saying? You're going to learn your lessons real harsh. So you just got to, you know, pick and choose your battles. But let me keep going. All right, I feel like you guys are very powerful spiritually. Like, you have a, a powerful, like, a, I'm, I'm getting, like, I'm getting a superpower. And your superpower is connected with your ranking here. Like, in order for you to have this power, you got to have this ranking. All right, this mofo who try to conjure, do whatever, they don't have that ranking. So, that's why they got karma by God here. All right? 
God is the one that gave this gift. That's what I'm getting. All right. I'm getting like a divine feminine. Whatever gift you have, okay, is connected with the gods here, all right, or a divine, powerful goddess. That this, and then this karmic cannot even touch it. It's almost like equivalent to like your third eye, all right. Or you having that eye of Heru or eye of raw protection. They can't touch it. They can't get it. You have a very high ranking star seeds. I feel like these karmics does not want you to see it. Or maybe someone does not believe in you. Maybe they say that they do. But they may feel like. You too like. Young to understand. Like, you wouldn't understand. Like, they're saying God is saying that like you wouldn't understand. Like, listen, I don't like people like that. Tell them to stop using God for their damn manipulation. All right? Because sometimes it be our own personal ego that feels like a person should or should not do things. Because we are, we are gods. Okay? Don't involve, you know, a creator God in your fuckery. Say, no, that's because you are a creator God too. The, the cycle just keep going. Okay, even if our genes come from Ra or Zeus or whatever like that, the cycle keeps going. We carry that energy over. All right? That's what makes us so powerful and so royal. Our kids are going to have that Zeus and Hades, Ra, Isis connection. I feel like people are just looking at it wrong, Starseeds. People are not seeing it, not, not the way you've seen it, but seeing it the right way because of their ego. Okay? Because of their ego. They don't want to, they rather stay in the dark because they, the ego, greed, ego, look. I know I just got these cards. Wait, did I? Yeah, but I'm seeing it in a different way now. <laughs> All right, they in ego. They rather stay stuck in the dark. Greed is not a cup. That's ego, devil ego. All right, and I feel like it's going to be someone great demise trying to deal with you in ego. It already was. You're going to get frustrated enough and just, be, and just bounce. And I feel like that is what happened, and that's for anyone in the future. All right, you're going to just get frustrated enough and just move forward. Because you can't keep, you know, dealing with people that's fake happy. Because they, because, you know, fake happy with you because they ain't happy with themselves. But anyway, star seeds. I feel like someone is lying. Like someone is lying on your lips. Like someone is lying on you. Okay, someone is lying on you saying that you said something that you didn't even say. And someone could even be doing spell work. This masculine. Yeah, he was even doing spell work to make people believe that lie that you said something that you didn't say. See. I'm getting, this is why they hate you, because you figure out the truth, all right? They they hate you because even when they try to lie on you, you ignore them, okay? They talk about you because they actually desire you, desire to be you, all right? We're going to put this as a thumbnail. Yeah, these karmics are distractions, all right? Ooh, damn. Keep you waiting. Yeah, I feel like these karmas want to keep you waiting here. All right, keep you waiting on them. Keep you waiting in like a stuck energy where you will never really move forward. Let's just get a few more, then I'm going to be done. I was supposed to pull from um another deck. Look, this contemplating energy still there. They, they stuck. They black magic got them stuck, little broken mirrors. But like these karmas is like addicted to you. 
All right, they enjoy that roller coaster energy. They they enjoy being in a toxic connection. So this is just a whole sign that yeah, they enjoy this push and pull. All right, just and it's only because they down and low right now. All right, so they they want to put you in that too. You need to keep going. I would not even go back. Y'all better keep going, keep bossing up, keep moving on up. All right, to the east side and have you your piece of your pie that this karmic cannot get a piece of. Because they did not help you bake that pie. They was not helping you whip up the ingredients to make your pie. So, no, they, they are not getting a piece of your pie. All right, they betrayed you. This could even be a, a false friend now. Again, I was working with a masculine that was mad and stubborn because he couldn't get his way over you. They was both hurt. So, that's why they, they both came after you. They was both hurt. Hurt over you not dealing with them, you costing them out, you being protected, them getting fucked up by the inferno spirits. Okay, they need to stop hating on your glow up. That's what it is. You glowed up with your inferno spirits. I'm getting with your ancestors. I'm seeing them rise. You rise with your ancestors. Even the the, the ones from the underworld. You leveled up. I can't make it up. Your dark side leveled up. That's what it is. Your darkness leveled up. And you rise up with your ancestors. Okay, like, honestly, if you want to look at this as bad, go ahead here. All right, but, I mean, like, we are light and dark here, and, and, and we understand the underworld real well, and we are balancing our light to where we will never let our darkness consume us. All right, but your dark side leveled up, and so did your mindset. And you understood that you are protected by light and dark, and your dark is what keeps you strong and protects you. All right, keeps you powerful, not powerless. And you are here to teach and help learn and uplift others about their darkness. You're here to help them learn about their dark side. This book is giving me, like, the codes, the DNA codes, okay? That is almost like, what is it? A person's divine blueprint, which is, like, light codes, DNA codes here, okay? That is here to help you, um, well, help awaken a person. What they need to do to heal to unlock this dark side, okay? I have it right here. Divine blueprint, let's... I want to. I want the, the exact definition so I can get y'all to download better. <sighs> Hold on. This is a lot. Y'all know my deck is a lot. I should pull my cards. Divine Blueprint Lightworker. I feel like you guys are here to teach about the darkness. Like, help. Like, people learn about their darkness. Help them utilize, like, help them learn the dark side. All right? Help them learn how to manifest and create with that dark side. Teaching them about their dark side, their dark cosmic side here, their cosmic darkness. All right? That's tied in with that cosmic womb here, okay? Primordial. I'm trying to, like, you know, I also want to say it the right technical way because I don't want people coming after me and saying I'm saying it wrong. So that means I'm not saying it. Uh, that means my download is wrong. I dealt with that a lot. And I don't want to confuse people. So, you know, I know what I'm saying. <laughs> but still. And it's not my job to force anyone to, you know, understand. It's up to you. If it's meant for you, you're going to know. The Great Cosmic Womb. Okay. All light workers have access to their divine blueprint, but you have access to Akashic Records to awaken codes. Wait, you have Akashic, you have access to the Akashic Records to understand the awakening codes. Yeah, you are here. This book. All right. Then when you leveled up with your ancestors, they gave you the power. Okay, to have access to this. You, they gave you access to this power for you to be that divine blueprint holder for both the light and the darkness of the souls here, of, of, of others. Okay, and this here, this book here is their Akashic Records. And you're able to read those healing codes, those light codes that's needed for them to utilize this power here. The power up. Where I even put it? I should leave it out. If people don't believe in you, you got to get away from them. Okay? You got to get away from those people because they're going to mess you up. I feel it. You may have, like, maybe it's a, a masculine or this ex-masculine did not believe in you. All right? Okay, that could, could be the reason why you couldn't talk with that other masculine. Maybe he did not believe in you. 
If that's the case, then don't let him back in. Maybe he got some reptilian vibes about him and it's and it's, it's, it's jealousy. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> okay. But I feel like, you know, somebody could definitely be in their dark energy, but they feel entrapped in it instead of free-flowing and creative. They feel, like, trapped, like they trap themselves in their own darkness. All right? That's why you got to be careful with that that dark energy because it is powerful. And I feel like that's exactly what happened with this karmic here. I feel like you guys are growing well. You could be using your primordial energies to grow well because you can create in that primordial energy. I call it the great cosmic room. Okay, that cosmic womb is that primordial void, and you're and, I, and you're creating wealth with this, with this pure energy here. We look at pure energy as light, but it's actually darkness. All right, because it's unfiltered. Okay, it's pure. That's 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 pure energy right there. Yeah, that darkness, that inner darkness is pure energy. Now don't get me wrong, light is, you know, I felt purity with light here. I did. I'm and, and and but it's like the way I'm feeling it with this darkness is different from the light here. Alright, it was more like, you know, a fresh sensation with that purity, like fresh. You know, I'm not saying that dark is not fresh, no. But I feel like y'all get what I'm trying to say. But let's keep going. You guys are creating wealth with your unfiltered primordial energy. That's what I'm getting. Yeah. Oh, wow. You guys got a lot of good karma, good credit with the universe. With the great cosmic womb here. Right, I'm getting the great mother. You have good karma. Like, you need to start manifesting with her. All right. Wow. This is why they hating on you. Man, listen. This is why they hating on you, Globe. I'm getting you post. I'm getting a part of your come up is a car. Seeing you, like, signing, signing some type of paperwork off for a car. Okay. Like. Yo, I feel like there's many, 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 like, gifts are waiting for you. Presents waiting for you. And this is tied in with your good karma. All right? Which is, is like, this good karma is here to bless your 3D light. Again, heaven on earth, star seeds. All right? Listen, you guys are coming up here. I feel like it's, I'm getting over. No, it doesn't matter which way you put it here. Or even when I put the cards, okay? It's like I'm seeing, like, I'm trying to put this at the bottom. Them at the bottom, so you be at the top, but then they next to growing well. So I'm seeing, like, it don't matter where this karmic is placed in life. They're always going to be, like, hating on your glow up. All right, because you always going to have more than them. You a lady boss. Ooh, look. Someone's giving your glow up the evil eye. That's your darkness, man. That's that divine darkness. All right, that's your glow up. That's your glow. Okay, I'm telling you, yeah, it is dark, right. But it's, <laughs> y'all get what I'm saying here. Y'all get what I'm saying, Okay. You leveling up into your dark side helped glow you up. I'm telling you, man. It's it's like that glow up. Just watch the transition. If you don't see, if you can't see it for yourself, just watch how you transition and keep following your dreams. Keep chasing your dreams. Mama. Keep being a dream chaser and keep inspiring others with your positive attitude. You can still be positive. And that dark energy spirit is saying, "Don't look. It's a positive thing. Don't look at it as negative." Because all creation comes from that dark void, even negative vibration. So it's all about how you manifest and man and, and manipulate that energy to work for you. You want to do darkness, that's what's going to come. Your primordial energy is here to influence others. And it's and that is a positive thing. Like I said, don't look at it as something that's evil and whatever like that. It's all, of, all about how you work with it. Okay? And I feel like, you know, you could be around people where it's like, you know, you're just too old to be playing their games, to be playing their mind games. Like, you overcame that, Star Seeds. You overcame all that mind game stuff. All right? You just don't have time for it anymore. Yeah, I feel like you're focusing on new technological things. This is the age of Aquarius, okay? Yeah, your, your dream is within the age of Aquarius. All right, not stuck in the past. A lot of people are still stuck in the age of Pisces because their soul is still stuck in the past because they're not healing. All right, they, they can gossip about you all they want. All right, you still transitioning. I can tell you that. All right, yeah, listen, you. I'm getting you are unfiltered here. You have unfiltered energy, I'm telling you. 
unfiltered is that purity. <laughs> um, that's how I look at it. Okay, as well. It's, it's different ways to look at pure. You can look at pure as divine white. Or you can look at your purity as your divine darkness. And you are unbothered because you have this unfiltered primordial energy within you. This is why you need to be unbothered. Because you are primordial. Period. You are primordial. Period. This is why you need to be unbothered. Because you are a primordial being. Period. Okay, if they want to shit on you, laugh at you, not believe that, tell them, tell them okay, go ahead, keep laughing. If, if you fuck with me, you're going to see. All right, and I feel like you're about to have a financial come up. Like, you are managing your finances well. All right, and I feel like you are investing your time, energy, and monies into skills that you need. All right, to help your career and business grow. Any money you spend is like an investment. All right, yeah, so you can, you know, ball out with this retail therapy. It's like you have goals set, and you're going to manifest those goals. These comments wanted you to, like, sit on your goals, and then they want to copycat them. And they're watching you. All right, you are enjoying life, Star Seeds, okay? I feel like you have good karma with the universe, okay? And the great mother here. And, and you have the free will to do as you please. You're chosen, okay? You're chosen for this life. Live it. Live it, star seeds. Whatever your, you know, your Akasha is, your your destiny is, live that. Follow that. Okay, and if if that Akasha, you know, it's like just just follow your path. Just follow your path. Just follow your path. That's it. Just follow your path. Don't try to force people to see things how you see it. Just follow your path. But if they are projecting failure for you because they don't believe in you, you need to get out of there. All right? And continue to boss up and be that confident, capable woman who pursue her own ambitions using her abilities instead of working for others or otherwise settling in life. That's not you. You are enjoying life. That's a part of your, your, your main goal on this planet is for you to enjoy it. Okay? Yes. That's a new mission for you now. For you to enjoy it. Okay, even when the times are hard, okay, don't give up. Keep going because your goal is for you, you know, to enjoy life in the end. We're going to, you know, we have to accept that, you know, life comes with problems. Okay, there's no perfect life really, right? All right, but it's all about how you, how you manif how you transmute those problems. You know, transmute it into like a challenge for you to, to gain more strength, more, you know, abilities mental ability or whatever like that look at it as a way to remove whatever stumbling block that was in your life okay just look at it as something that there's a light at the end of the tunnel for you okay and that is your new beginning don't never it's like endings are are just new beginnings that's it they're just they're just new beginnings you're moving into you're moving on <laughs> All right, into something more f flexible for you. Because remember, this karmic episode is not flexible. All right, you're moving on into a more relaxing, more joyful life, okay? We, you're, be, you're moving on to a new cycle where you get to re-nourish your energy. Feel refreshed in your spirit. Not feeling overwhelmed and, and, and over, you know, and heavy burden and overbeared. Even if it's with work. You, you leaving work and transitioning, all right, and starting your own business. And it's because it's like, you could have people at your at your job talking shit about you. So you're like, you know, I'm going to make my business a full a full time business. And look, you're manifesting nothing but that bag. Like these are all signs and synchronicities for us to keep going. Okay, these blessings. I'm getting these random acts of kindness. It's confirmation for you that you're doing the right thing. These won't. These random acts of kindness won't happen unless you're doing the right thing. All right, get your body right. If you feel like you need to get your body right, go ahead. I'm telling you, your enemies are going to be your footstool. I'm telling you that. And they're going to be saying things like, I hate nothing about you, sis. And you know damn for well they was fucking being cold. All right, it's up to you on how you want to handle that situation. But if I were you, I would just move forward. All right, because they was definitely part of the ones sending you spiritual attacks. All right, I would just move forward if I were you. Okay, don't be around anyone who don't believe in you, Star Seeds. Okay, do not be around anyone who do not believe in your gifts or your abilities. Any, do not believe in anyone, okay, who is doubting you. Because that's how they feel about themselves. They don't love themselves. I'm seeing a lot of masculine energy around you. I'm seeing masculines in the 3D that was like karmics, okay, that was antagonizing you. And I'm also seeing like gods, okay. 
you are protected by heavy masculine energy okay god's energy here okay because of who you are this divine dark goddess What happened? Where you at? Girl, you having... I thought something was happening to her because she's like, help me. I'm like, oh my God, how long would you stay in this? And she's nothing's happening. All right, but I feel like your salary check is about to like blow up here, okay? Because you are accepting like a new mission here. All right, and that's what I'm getting. You set to the new mission as a part of your destiny. You're about to have a salary check. All right. And I feel like new levels, new devils with this betrayal. All right. And understand your old devils going to be trying to come back saying that they're sorry. All right. But, you know, with that being said, just keep yourself protected. No, of course. Y'all, I, I love this deck. I'm just feeling this deck. Like, I feel like somebody lies. It's, it's getting exposed. Somebody was like building some type of illusion based around the line. It's getting exposed. It's, <laughs> okay. Yeah. Ooh. Someone who you was dating. All right, you thought that there was like a new love option, okay? But you put yourself back on the market. That could have been that X here, okay? Oh, wow. And we have the Inferno here. All right, I keep getting this energy. It's like, again, your karma guess was trying to say that you was talking to your new person while you was with them, and that's not true. They got caught for lying. All right, you could have probably thought your ex was a better option after a, another ex. That's why I picked up. You could have went through that in the past with someone else or with this person over the course of the years and time. All right? You manifested like an infernal spirit. Like, this is a masculine that has that unfiltered darkness within them as well. It's like, y'all both powerful. This could be a twin flame. Wow, intimacy. It's like, your karma is a sick and tired of you, like, giving them the cold soldier and you manifesting new love or you being with your twin. Oh, well, let's get one more. Yeah, I want to be done, but I just feel like I should just keep pulling cards. Maybe I'm breaking this date. And look, planning. All right, text, phone call, meeting up here. Yeah, I feel like you guys could be planning a date with a, with a Inferno spirit. That is hilarious. That is your person. He, like, carried his divine dark energy within him. And I'm getting, like, chaos as well. Look, unknown caller. Like, for some of you guys, you didn't expect this person. It's, like, out of, out of the blue type of love. You didn't expect to be with this person. All right, and this karmic is trying to make you feel guilty for, like, moving on without, like, giving them one last chance. No, your, your salary about to go up. I'm just feeling that. All right, look, ancestral guidance. Your ancestors about to freaking bless you. All right? I'm telling you because you accepted this new mission, this new plan. Go If you want to know what that plan is, go with them. But I feel like it's a change of destiny, Okay. That mission that was added on to your destiny, it could have, like, altered how the way you see your destiny. Yeah, look. Ooh, abundance is just coming in. I feel like this is a good change. Abundance is coming in. And I feel like this destiny also pertains to your connection. All right? Like, a shift, a change is coming in, in your love life. Ooh! Saints, spiritual guidance. Look at this. You are, listen, you are divinely protected by light and dark forces here. Powerful light forces that also come from that great cosmic womb. That, that void here, okay? That cosmic waters here. Listen here, star seeds. Girl power, yes. Divine feminine power, yes. I'm seeing power puff, girl. This is why this mofo had to go. Like, you don't know me. You don't know me. Get out of here. This is why your ancestors like, get out of here, man. You got to go. You don't know my child. You don't know. You don't know. Okay? Like, you just don't know. Karma. They getting karma. It's like a karmic is it's like them moving on is a part of their karma. Alright, they wanted to like knock your teeth out because of the stuff you're saying. They need to just shut the hell up. They just need to shut the hell up. Okay? Like honestly. It's like you are a disciple here that holds the knowledge and wisdom to connect all the dots. All the connect all the dots, all right, and fill in those those missing pieces, and that's the mysteries. Okay, it's happening to that hidden knowledge and wisdom. Okay, you you guys are powerful. I told you this motherfucker had to move on because they had to move on, all right, and find somebody else. 
All right, that's it. Whatever, whatever they have to offer you, you told them to go and give that to someone else, okay? Because I love myself a lot more. All right, you are beautiful. You are believing in you and your visions and becoming a career-minded and successful lady boss. Successful lady boss. Like I said, someone who don't believe in you and your spirit and your dream, they got to go. Your spirit team is going to expose that person and tell them to get the fuck on. They went backwards. They thought it was going forwards fucking with you. That was the backwards thing. You don't have time for their games. Some of y'all could have some cabbage. Some type of cabbage with like meat in it or something like that. Some type of southern style cabbage. Look. Look at them watching you on social media. Some of y'all may cook online. Little jealous selves. Watching you cook good food online. All right, some of you guys are psychic, okay? You guys are psychic, and um, your your intuition is, like, very good, and it's, like, the things you're saying is coming to pass. All right, I'm getting a tarot reading. You may do tarot readings. Yeah, that's one of your goals. It's to probably be, like, one of the best tarot readers, the top tarot readers. Yes. Girl, listen, I'm getting out. <laughs> that should be our goals in life is to be one of the best tarot readers, okay? Because we are actually doing, like, healing work, not being one of the best fucking... Meg the Stallion Strippers. No offense, sir. I ain't trying to come for her. But, sis, you know, I got to judge you, sis. You know your fucking, sh your work is not helping the, the divine feminine. You're keeping us in that distorted, chaotic energy. Jezebel energy, okay? Like, mm -mm, that's not good for humans, for people's spirit, period. All right? But, um, some of y'all, you know, just keep cleansing. I'm getting, she need to cleanse her spirit. All right? But, um... Yeah, they, they're they jealous of your goals. They're jealous of the fact that you cleanse your space from them and you're manifesting. Ooh, bam. Manifesting a huge salary check. They was talking shit behind your back saying, oh, you ain't going to make no money from this. Look, you making a lot of money. I'm telling you, it's all coming together. I see it for you in your future. I see it for you. And I feel like our other karmics saw it too. One thing about it, two things for sure, okay, these karmics see, that, see our light before we see it. And that's why they try to sabotage us and talk us out of us being in our light. And that ain't going to happen. Okay? Listen. That salary check is coming. I feel like I should put it the other way. Mm-hmm. It's like, I'm getting like, you know, things happen backwards for you in a sense of, <sighs> backwards in the sense of, I guess you probably thought you was going to receive a whole bunch of support, but you ended up receiving hate. And that was so and it's like maybe you expected for you to receive more love you know it's like you didn't go through what other people went through and maybe it looked at as backwards but i feel like it happened for a reason whatever you went through helped activate the true inner you <laughs> the true you that's inside there we go all right it activated your your inner crown your higher self your royalty your light and dark here we talking about the dark right now all right they they hate it they hate it it's like I'm getting, there's like a whole book that talks about your royalty, your royalty ray. This is your Akashic record. There's like a whole chapter that talks about you being royalty. Multiple, most, all chapters. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Of the lifetimes that you experience here, all right? And the type of like recognition you receive is of royalty. All right? That's just who you are. All right? You're making strong relationships with your money and your brand building, starting email lists. Yeah, I feel like you're staying in line with technology. That's the age of Aquarius. You're staying in line with the age of Aquarius, which is you being an entrepreneur. You being a terrier light worker. I'm seeing them doing black magic to change your, change your perspective. All right? So you won't see that. And that's what that's them. They don't see that. They don't see you being a terrier light worker is healing. Like, they see it for other people, but they don't see it for you. All right? That's what makes them a narcissist, I'm getting. All right? Because they're trying to, like... Weigh you down and tie you down in this energy. Whatever spell they did to alter your emotions altered theirs. It made them like, it really exposed their true colors. Because that's how they always felt. They just try to hide it. But once they did the spell to try to make you like that, make you see it that way. That is what exposed it. That's how they truly felt about you this whole time. This is a masculine doing this shit to you. Mad because you moved on and enjoying life, and now he's trying to alter your 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 reality by making you feel like your spiritual work is not helping. All right, listen, time to get your money right. That's what you're focusing on. Yo, listen, are you gonna be paying off your credit cards? Any debt here? I feel like you guys have enough money to pay off your karmic debt. I'm I'm seeing like money. I'm it's, I'm seeing like the energy has money. Okay, just look at it. You don't have to look at it like, like that, but it's like you have enough to pay off your karmic debt. Like you came here with enough money or energy to pay off your karmic debt and i feel like it's time their time is up the karmic time is up you paid your debt 
You signed your end of the, the contract. All right, you held your end of the bargain with universe, with the divine, with God. All right, and this karma didn't do that. All right, listen, you no longer feel boxed in because you paid your 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 karma debt with them. They can't keep you boxed in anymore. You're ready to soar and fly. Part of this karmic connection with you is to keep you boxed in. You no longer feel boxed in. You're ready to start. Life goes on, buddy. That's what they're reflecting. You moved on. What, they finally realizing that shit? All right, like I said, these videos are timeless. It probably took them a long time to realize it. Still learning that spiritual lesson? Look, but they still trying to come back into your life saying, I hate nothing about you, even if it took them a thousand years. They still going to try to come back saying, I hate nothing about you. Can you forgive me? After they hated on you for a thousand years, I don't think I, I don't think that I can just let you back in. I can forgive you, but I don't, I'm not going to hold that resentment in my heart. But I'm not forgetting. Okay, for a lot of you guys, that 1,000 years was how many years it was in this lifetime. And it's like they got some nerve to try to come back after they put you through hell. They just snap out of it. Like, okay, I'm wrong. Can you, can you forgive me now? No! I can forgive myself for fucking with you, dealing with you, and I can forgive you in my lonesome. I don't need to forgive you and have you around me. And maybe that's something that they... They, they they could be having a hard time getting over too. Maybe you could have told them that. And they got upset. They got upset over a lot of shit. They'll be alright. They'll be okay. Yeah, look. They, are, they was a hater. Writing your name out in blood, I'm getting. Red ink. That's sad. When, okay, the haters see you winning. They wish they hating in the shadows. Wishing that you fell. Hating in the shadows here, star seeds. Okay, like this is just not cool. All right, yeah, fake friends. Could have been a fake friend working with your ex. All right, group of threes or more. This is why your ancestors exposed them. And this is why you're receiving so much abundance, this reign of abundance here, because you it's like you went through so much, and they try to take it from you. And I feel like, you know, a part of the purpose from take, of taking this from you is for you to not achieve and fulfill your mission all right, or your destiny on this planet. So, yes, they... they they go against your destiny. They go against your entire angelic spiritual forces. Not just angelic, but your spiritual forces, pure, even the infernos. All right? Like, honestly. All right? F-boy alert. They was a fuck boy. They don't understand this light and dark stuff. All right? Look, they can always watch. They gonna see. They just going to see you grow in your wealth and heal from their magic. Most of the time, you're going to heal from magic because you are unbothered by their bullshit. They can hate on you all you want. Or they, they can hate on, the, on you all they want. It's not changing who you are, how you feel about yourself. It's just exposing, like, that's how, how they hate you. How much they hate you is how much they hate themselves. That's just simply what it is. And if that wasn't the case, why aren't they choosing to love and be love, okay? Choose love and be of love. Why are they choosing to be of hate and all this extra stuff? Again, if they don't believe in you, they can't be around you. Okay, because you are a primordial being. Okay, you hold those primordial forces. Okay, woo! This is, you know, my readings are for chosen ones. Y'all know if y'all if my readings resonate with y'all. Okay, if you resonate with TMI, research TMI and connect with TMI because those waters live within you. And it's activating you. Okay? That's the great mother. Connect with her. She'll answer all your questions. But I love y'all so much. Namaste.